what is up you guys it is your girl Prez here and I am going to teach you today how I inked and colored this illustration inspired by old rat rods but first if you don't know how to use any of these programs I recommend checking out my link down below which is for Skillshare who has more professional teachers and lessons that can teach you how to use programs like procreate and Photoshop and if you didn't already know from the title I am using procreate for this to get started with this I kind of sketched out a bunch of rat rods um, that I found on Google real quick before so I could just study the machine but overall I just basically um, took a bunch of parts from a lot of references and created a profile view of a rat rod with two characters inside of it and mainly all I'm doing right now is really just creating a really cleaned up sketch and blocking out where I really want my shadows to hit based off of my light source which is coming from the upper um, left hand corner so yeah, just really paying attention to that upper left hand light and I was really inspired by Jamie Hewlett for this piece so I'm really trying to bring in a lot of detail with that lighting even within the different mechanical parts and paying attention to the different textures as well. And for this next pass, uh, we're going in and doing the official line work, and I believe I kept these characters on a separate layer. It's always really good to have separate layers when you're working digitally, but mainly all I'm doing right now is just kind of freehanding some detail. Sometimes I will look at references. I really like drawing wood, so I didn't have to use a reference for the wood paneling. Uh, I just, for some reason, it's really relaxing just to draw the texture of wood, so that's what I'm mainly doing. And I also forgot to mention this, but I normally start off with my thinnest weight, the line weight, and then I go back with another layer on top, and then I will put my really thick lines and my really harsh shadows on another layer as well. And so now on that additional layer, I am putting in those really dark blacks, but I put them in as gray so I don't go over my inking and I keep to the original shape that I wanted. Um, so that's just a really cool trick if you're wanting to get those really dark blacks without going over your original line weight, but yep. So I forgot to mention the two brushes that I mainly use for inking. I believe the one I used for this one was the dry ink that comes with Procreate. It's their default brush. I really, really like how smooth the lines are for that brush. And then sometimes I will also use the technical pen. Both of these on full opacity. I don't usually change the opacity for my pens when I am inking just in this style. It really just depends on the style that I'm drawing in. Again, really paying attention to where the light is hitting or coming from because I often will make a silly mistake and will completely draw the shadows on the opposite side if I don't keep reminding myself. Um, sometimes I'll draw a little arrow in the corner to remind myself and just keep it there until the painting's finished and that way I will never like second guess myself or forget. And now we're going to start with colors very soon, which I put on the bottom of my inking layer. Just quickly adding in the carburetors as well. Getting into color, I'm keeping the harmony within the same range of saturation, but I am varying the hues quite a bit. Definitely sticking to my favorite color palette of using primaries, but it's definitely still keeping it within a neutral range so they create um, a balance of color harmony. There was one color I did want to stick out which was the red because I wanted this to be an overall really warm feeling and maybe kind of dangerous but cool painting. Maybe something that takes place um, during the afternoon. But yeah, this is kind of like the concluding part of this piece, but definitely let me know in the comments below what you want to see more of and maybe specifics like what you wish I would have covered in this but definitely let me know and I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching my videos there is definitely more to come this year because I'm graduating so I'll talk to you guys real soon have a good one